Skyrim Community Guides. You've requested. I've complied. SKSE 64. What is it? How do I install it? How do I know it's working? Those are the questions. This is the answer. SKSE 64 is a modder's resource that extends the scripting capabilities of Skyrim SE. It allows mod authors to go beyond the limitations of the creation kit, which in turn allows us access to more expansive mods. For SKSE 64 to function, you generally need the most updated version of the game. The SKSE website displays what version is needed. To see what version of the game you have, open the game folder. Locate and right-click the game's main executable. Select Properties. Open the Details tab. Locate Product Version. For SKSE to detect your game, you must have launched it at least once. A fresh install of the game requires you to launch it from one of its executables to establish your registries. Without doing this, it's like the game doesn't exist. Navigate to the official website linked in the description. Locate the current SE build. Select the 7-zip archive link. Right-click the archive that is downloaded. Extract its contents. Open the SKSE folder. In the second window, navigate to and open the game folder. Drag and drop the files from the SKSE folder inside of the game folder. That's it, SKSE is installed. Drag and drop everything from the SKSE folder into the game folder except the data folder. Since a major purpose of MO2 is to keep the data folder unmodded, that's what we are going to do. This also avoids the rare chance of a mod overwriting an SKSE script without you knowing it. Still in the SKSE folder, right-click Data, select your archival program, and pack it into an archive. Name it something along the lines of SKSE 64 Scripts. Open MO2. Open the Downloads tab. Drag and drop the Scripts archive inside. Double-click it and install it like any other mod. In the left pane, Activate the scripts. Drag them to the top of your load order. From now on, launch the game from the SKSE 64 loader executable, located in the game folder. Manual users send a shortcut to your desktop. Mod manager users add the executable to your manager. Refresh MO2 and SKSE should be automatically detected. If for some reason it's not, open the Modify Executables window. Create a new title of your choosing. Select the ellipsis to the right of the binary. Navigate to the Game folder and double-click the SKSE loader. Select Add and then OK. Choose SKSE from your drop-down and launch the game from it. When you arrive at the Game menu or at any point in game, push the tilde key to open the console. Different language keyboards may use a different key. Type the following. Get SKSE version without spaces and then push enter. If a version is returned, the script extender has been installed correctly. If not, recheck your steps. Since the release of the Creation Club, updates, only some of which have been useful to non-CC users, happen to the game frequently enough to be a nuisance. When the game is updated, SKSE 64 is temporarily broken until it updates. When SKSE updates, many mods that require the script extender need to update as well for them to continue working. A video is provided showing how you can stop updates from happening, or at least how to prepare for them. A special thank you to our poet lords, Watch Hill and Trotsky for their charitable contributions and support. Thank you to those of you keeping Gamer Poets a reality. I am Michael of Gamer Poets, and I hope to see you next time.